All right, so welcome back to another video. I've been like kind of like thinking about if I wanted to like, you know, record this. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck you, man. This is like one of my favorite video games I've ever played in my whole entire life, bro. This is like my childhood. Like, this is where my love for like stealthiness has been birthed from. So whenever like there's a stealth option, I always take it. And that's because of this game alone just requires you to be stealth like. I just, I just, there's so much about this game and the series that I just, I can't say nothing negative about it, bro. Like, every game is beautiful. I mean, granted, 3 is like, you know, the weak link of it, but bro, this is just a great game, bro. I don't know when I'm gonna end the recording. I might end it after I beat the frog nigga. I might end it before I beat the frog nigga. I, I don't know yet. It's just, I'm, I'm kind of just overwhelmed with excitement. I never thought I'd be here recording this game. I, Cause like, I, I played this game about maybe like five times, like this year. I ain't go, stop the cap. I, I, I ain't go, I ain't go lie. I, I kind of just be like, in my downtime between videos, I'm like, damn. I love this game. Let me go back and play it. Cause for real, for real, it only takes like you know, like three, like two, three days to beat it. It's really not that long to beat. It's a very quick and straightforward game. I get all the clues, all that shit. I don't fuck around. My favorite level is Miss Ruby. Well, you'll know why when I get there. That is. Uh, Carmen Lee is about to pull up. Call me a raccoon. All right, call me a thug while you're at it. Raccoon, I've caught you red -handed. Damn. Uh, Carmelita, I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Uh -huh. And I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Bro, I don't, I don't even... I just, you know, I, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? Don't you really? <laughs> pistol packs a Bro, I can't use Riz seriously you anymore. Y'all ruined it. And give up our little rendezvous. Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Just look at my man. Look at my guy, man. He's so he's so confident. He's so like Rizzy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's just he's just Sly is just that nigga, bro. Like this this nigga Sly is the embodiment of cool. Am I glazing the fuck out this nigga? Yes. Do I feel bad about? It? No, nigga. Like I said, this is my childhood. You cannot tell me anything bad about this game. At some point, I will try to attempt a speed run. Do I know the strategies for a speed run? No. Cutscene. Once talks again, to me. my gang and I had given Inspector Carmen mm, the fox mm. this year. Skirt. I Go was ahead, surprised Murray. to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for all these years. With this. I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, Bro, I don't bouncing even, on my father's I don't father's even want to knee. talk. I just want to let the I come from the a magic long line of master happen. thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an mm. ancient book. Mm -hmm. The Thievius Raccoon. Yes, sir. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. Yep. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered Some him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. They found that shit. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. Built the ass they tore thugs. the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Clockwork. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Day one real Bentley, niggas. Techno genius and strategist supreme, Ed Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family to name bite the bite dust. The dust. I'm so, oh my god, bro! I know this shit word for word, word for fucking bar, nigga. I just I, 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 I told you, niggas. The road damn, trip gave me the damn, time I damn, needed to study damn. up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. Yes, sir. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. Rich ass nigga. 
On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Mm. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of a perilous Welsh triangle. Oh, this music is music is just great. Tide of terror. See, bro, I've, I didn't even know that, like, come on, like, what you, who else you know really fucking with the series like this, bro? I know the names, I know the titles, bro. I know, like, I, I don't, like, remember going to GameStop and buying this game. I just remember it being, like, at, on my PS2, like, with the disc and everything. Yeah, getting all of them. Bitch ass nigga, fuck out of here, walrus. Gotta break this. Come on, bro. I know, I know the strategies. Come on now. Oh my god. But how y'all doing today, y'all? <laughs> I, I really haven't been talking. I really haven't stopped talking since I hit record, bro. I just, just, just ah, I love this game, man. If y'all couldn't tell already, I just love this game, bro. It's a great game. It's a fun time. This game's really timeless, bro. Bro, when I was a kid, this nigga Sly was the epitome of cool for me. And this nigga's still cool, bro. He the group leader. He's he he has a he has a cane. He's blue. Nigga, nigga, it's like I'm not gonna lie, bro. This whole entire series, I'm just gonna be dick sucking this Sly, bro. It's just there's no other way I can like I there's no way I can't not. You know what I'm saying? It's just there's too much love I have for this game to not express it to you guys by words and like emotions and my playing it firsthand. And just like that, we got our 20 clues. Yeah, I know, I know, bro. I know. Yup, yup. I, I, I used to need YouTube videos, bro. Not even, not anymore, bro. I'm just that, I'm just that locked in. Man. Just like that. Pop my ears up. Get the page. And we're learning a new move. Why, you found a page from the Phoebeus Raccoonus. Yes, sir. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Finally, you need that. Press the triangle button to use it. Yes, sir. And this little sequence in itself, getting the key, bro, is just so, it's just so cool. Like, the nigga. Mm, what are you talking about? Come on, like, come on, dog. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't want to get me started on the music, bro. The music's just a whole fucking vibe. This thing, Sonic to Unleash music is top tier. Video wise, I'll probably end up getting all the keys I need for this area and then I'll wrap it up. Cause I, I don't, it's just like, you know, I could like, you know, and beat Rally in this episode. I'm going to jump around, just get the keys. Cause as much as I love this game, like it's pretty, I don't want to say repetitive, but like, eh, there's just so much about this game that has fundamentally changed how I play video games. Now it's, it's just, bro, if y'all haven't played this game by yourself, you just, you just gotta give it a try, bro. Just like that, got all 30, bro. Not even a challenge for a nigga like me, for a conf it's a confederate, a veteran slob player. Get my page for my devious raccoons. Interesting. Old Sally Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Oh hell yeah. Stories claim she can move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power-ups using L2 and R2. Just like that, this level was over. Nice and easy, man. Do your thing, gang. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this just yet. Cause like, sure, getting, like doing the level itself is like, content in a way. But like, at the same time, like, I'm not even talking at the time. It's really me. It's like my mind just roams and I kind of go down memory lane as I play this. So like I said, I might just cut around here and there when I get the clue bottles and when I'm about to get the key. So it's just, I, I, I'll figure it out when I get there, but I usually have like in mind as I'm playing the game, like, oh, I'll do this, then I'll do that, 
and then I'll do this. But with this, I have no clue. We'll get the last two clues here. Then we can go back, open the safe, and then we can get the key, and then we can call it for this level. Whoever thought this code up knew what they were doing. Dial in four three six. Mmm, they really know what they was doing there, Ben. They had some, they had some like big brain shit right there. Extra comas, I mean not extra chromosomes. That means you're retarded. But you you get what I'm saying. You get the metaphors. Now what do I get? Talk to me. These are the blueprints of Raleigh's entire operation. Love that. I wonder. Yes, I can wire this info directly into your binocucom. It'll show you the position of nearby clues and breakable objects. Just like that, this level's done. Like, on one hand, I wanted to sit here and play the entire game and, like, make everything into its own video. But on the other hand, I don't want the video to be too long. So it's like a mix of me enjoying this entire game, but still making it into, like, a, a digestible video. Because, like, I really want to, like, sit here and, like, make this a, into, like, a whole, like, series. And I want, I want y'all to be here with me while I, do, I want y'all to experience like my the love i have for this game man as i can see i haven't stopped smiling like the, since we played this whole entire it's like i just man words can't describe how much i love this game man like if it, if i haven't played this game in my childhood the way i play games now would be entirely different it's really second nature when it comes to collecting all these clue bottles Now what do I get? Talk to me. Outstanding! Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus. Mm -hmm. This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to Pretty get useless. by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. Can I dodge the uh, jumps with this though? I never tried it before. Not, not that ain't it. Ain't it ain't matter. Okay, I'll do one more level. There's one more level left in this area. It's right up there. So I might as well do that real quick. Temperatures reading way off the charts in here. This must be the power source for the storm. Like, bro, bro, I didn't even say anything mentally. I, my mind just knows where to go, bro. I don't play about my clues, bro. I just love collecting shit, and it's because of this game. Slide one, slide two, slide three, all of them. If I had to put it in order, though, from like my favorite slot games to my least favorite, I would have to go two, one, and then three. One's a classic, but two just improves exactly on what one was missing, and it just perfected it. Three, I don't know what they was doing with three. Like, three is still a good game, don't get me wrong. It just pales in comparison to two and one. If you played it, you understand. Just like that, the level is over. All right, so, was it this time? I played this game like multiple times, beat it through multiple times. Every time I got the clue, I just don't remember the little things like this. dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Mm-hmm. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. How's that go again? Oh, oh, the dive slam. Oh, this is a classic ass move. But the one thing I do love about Sly 3 that these like other games don't have is like that treasure hunt game mode. That shit was just always so fun to me. And finding like the, uh, like the, like the, the puzzle paintings and the code hitting, hitting in them. That shit was always fun to me. I never understood why it was, I enjoyed it. Let's open this generator, break it down, do your thing, Sly. Throw them keys in. There you go. Let me break the bitch. The realization just hit me. I just beat like four levels like it was nothing, bro. Oh my goodness. Now, I hope y'all enjoyed that trip down my old memory lane, and I hope y'all enjoyed it as, as much as I did, bro. This shit, this game is so fun. I have no idea how it's about to come out, but I'll figure it out, man. It's, oh, it's so fun.